good morning guys so right now it's about 9 30 ish and um i decided to do my first devotional with me video i'm going to walk you guys through how i do my morning daily devotionals as i told you guys in other videos i do three devotionals every morning um i do my our daily bread which is a quarterly devotional i do the in touch ministry devotional which is a monthly and then i'm going through seven different types of devotional books that i own because i love devotionals so this is the one that i have for mondays which is god is faithful my daily devotional it is written by a bunch of male pastors and it is from thomas nelson and i'm saying that because i know a lot of people get offended um some women do get offended when they pick up a devotional and it's mainly male pastors i actually like this devotional a lot um it's a really good devotional so these are the three that I do every morning. Um, I do do devotionals on the Holy Bible app, and I'm currently going through a sort of devotional study right now with Sarah Poontz, which I've mentioned with the um, Worthy of the Calling. Right now she's doing, it's called Wisdom Whispers, and it's all about King Solomon. So um, yeah, but these are the three I do every morning. So I have my devotionals. I have my notebook, which is almost filled, you guys. Literally, this is all I have left, I think six pages worth. But all of it is there. And then I have my Bible, which I'll pick out in a second. But um, I do want to mention that um, I don't do my devotionals every day. I can't get to it every day. Like, I think the last time I did my devotionals was Thursday this past week. Just because I had such a busy weekend. I'm in my friends. I'm in my sister and brother's wedding. And when I say that, um, they are a youth pastor and um a girl that goes to my church and i consider them both my sister and brother and they're getting married so i'm actually in the wedding as a bridesmaid so i wasn't able to do my devotional saturday because i had a lot to do with that on saturday then sundays i have devotions but i couldn't do it sunday because i had to dance um at church and then uh friday and thursday just was so busy with doing stuff for um the bible study that i'm hosting in my group and um, if you guys don't know, I do have a Daughter of Increase Facebook group where we are currently on our second Bible study. The first one was on Ruth, and I'll actually be uploading that Ruth study to the YouTube channel over the course of this week. Um, and right now we're on Esther, so it's pretty. It's been pretty hectic for me, so I haven't been able to catch up on my study um, devotionals rather. And um, I used to stress about it, but God has taught me over the times that I've missed a few days that um, I don't have to stress doing my devotionals um, as long as I'm in the Bible because I do try to stick to my daily Bible studies every day um, I don't always get to it just like the devotionals but as long as you're in your word um, even if it's just reading a scripture and meditating on it it's okay especially because my devotionals take a little longer it takes about an hour to an hour and a half just because I do read three devotionals and I try to um, write as many notes as I can some days is shorter some days is longer depending on how I'm feeling but um yeah so I'm gonna start off with the our daily bread so I have that out and the Bible that I use is this one you guys have seen the review slash walkthrough of how I use this this is the HCSB study Bible for women um, from Holman and I love this Bible you guys it's so pretty it's the lavender and um, blush leather touch bible um i have my pentel rsvp pen it is a 0.7 millimeter pen i love pens like this and i have all my highlighters and other writing utensils that i use so i'm gonna stick the highlighters over here in this corner and um yeah i'm gonna turn on my diffuser you guys might hear it so i hope not hopefully you guys don't hear but i do have my diffuser running um, and I'm going to start off with my prayer. I normally do a devotion, a prayer for my devotionals before I um, get into the devotionals. So, um, Heavenly Father, I come to you this morning with my heart, mind, and soul. I want this time to be more intimate than I've ever had before with you. Please create a whole new experience with you today, this morning. Expand my knowledge and understanding of you. Teach me, show me, and fill me with what you see fit, Father. I pray for total focus with an open heart and ears willing to hear and learn from you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And um, the reason why I pray before I do my devotionals is the same reason why you would pray before you study the word. Because sometimes it's hard to comprehend. Sometimes you can lose focus. And I do pray for focus because the mornings, I'm not a morning person at all. I'm more of a night person. So I tend to get tired. Um, I tend to be all over the place with my thoughts. So i always pray for focus in the morning and um i'm sorry you guys let me just make sure my phone is 
on silent. Okay. And I'll autofocus shortly. But um, so we're gonna flip to the day for today. And um, I just want to show you guys. Like I said, I've missed a few days. The last time I actually did about um a devotion was actually Tuesday, April 10th. And um I skipped Wednesday all the way to um Sunday. Now Sundays I normally do my Sunday devotionals on Mondays, just because Sundays is hard since I'm always out and about at church early in the morning all day. Um, so we're on Monday. So the way the Our Daily Bread devotions are set up, for those of you who don't know what Our Daily Bread is, is um, it's basically you have your day and your date. If you're doing the Bible in one year challenge, it tells you where you should be. Your topic, you have your devotional here, your prayer at the bottom. It tells you who the devotional is by. You get your reading for today and then the main scripture that it's focusing on. And then right at the bottom where it's bold, it gives you kind of like a one sentence summary of what you read, which I love. And um, pretty much, let me see if I can show you guys. This is how I do my whole devotional thing. So if I like the scripture that was picked, um, I will highlight the scripture. Sometimes I highlight everything. Well, I don't know if I have one where I highlighted everything in here. Um, no, but sometimes I'll just highlight where it says today's reading or I'll highlight the key verse. Um, and I underline what stands out. If it really uh, pops out to me as a note to write, I'll highlight it in pink. And then the purple highlighter is for prayers because I do utilize the prayers in my prayer journal when I'm formatting my prayers for the day. And I'll show you guys how I do that um, if I can today. But okay, so today's reading is Psalms 39, 4 through 6. And like I said, I'm using the HCSB translation just because it helps me understand the devotionals better than if I'm using my New King James or my King James Devotional Bible. I mean, study Bible. So, we're going to flip um, to Psalm 39. I don't even know if I highlighted that one already. 39. Nope, I didn't. So, 39 is here. And we're going to do 4 through 6. Okay. Psalm 39, 4 through 6. Let me autofocus for you guys. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this. Maybe I should zoom in just a bit for you. Hopefully that helps you guys. I do have my coffee on the side, so let me just sip that. And um, I do color code in my devotional Bible. And it looks like this. So pink is anything relating to the Trinity, God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. Yellow is an application or command to obey. Green is any connection words, purple is for prayer, blue is anything that's noteworthy, and orange is generalization. So that's how I go about it. Um, I'm missing a paper. Where is it? So I found this printout of different transition words because I know the main transition words are fanboys, which basically stand for for and um, nor, but, or, so, yet. I think that's how you spell it. Yeah, fanboys. I believe that's it. But um, I knew that there were more transition words out there. So I found this printable. Um, I don't know where I got it from. I will try to find a link for it. Because I literally just Googled transition words. And this came up and I printed it out. And it's a, it's a hefty sheet. I don't, like I said, know. Because it doesn't tell me where I got it from. Um, so I'll look it up and find it. But I do use this when I'm stumped on a word that I feel like is a transition word, but I'm not 100% sure. So I do use this sometimes. So we're going to straight dive into this. And again, it is, it's a rainy day outside, so you guys might hear the rain. You might hear my um, diffuser going, so I apologize because I have actually have my mic set up next to the diffuser. So actually, let me move that around just so my mic isn't picking up too much of the sound from the diffuser and i put my highlighters on the other side so i normally start off with um transition words just because i like to get that out the way so i'm taking my green um, i'm gonna read through it first so it's verse four through six for 39 okay so it says lord reveal to me the end of my life and the number of my days let me know how short-lived i am you indeed have made my days short in length and my lifespan as nothing in your sight yes 
every mortal man is only a vapor salah certainly man walks about like a mere shadow indeed they frankly rush frantically rush around in vain gathering possessions without knowing who will get them so i'm going to start off like i said with transition words so two is a transition word and again these are the sharpie smirgot highlighters i do like these they do uh kind of sort of bleed through but um not too bad if you guys can see that it's like not too bad um not bleed through i'm sorry they do uh show on the other side but it's not bad to me so the lord revealed to me the end of my life and the number of my days let me know how short-lived i am you indeed now i feel i if i'm not mistaken indeed is i feel like it is but i'm going to look on this paper because there are days when i feel like the word is a transition word but then it's not so and i do have this on my computer as well so if i can't find a link i'll upload it on myself and share it with you guys Hmm. I'm not seeing indeed, so I don't believe it is a transition word. Nope. Moving on. Um, you indeed have made my day short in length and my life span as nothing in your sight. Yes, every mortal man is only a vapor. Certainly. Ah, let's see if that's it. Probably not either. Oh, actually, certainly. Oh, indeed, and certainly. See? So it's right here under um, where it says example, support, or emphasis. So, yes, indeed, and certainly are there. <laughs> So I'm going to go back and do indeed and certainly a man walks about. I, I'm 100% sure about is a transition word. I've seen it before. Just a minute, I'm finding it. Yes. So about, I don't know if you guys can see, about is under time, chrono, chronology, and sequence. So about. Um, about... Like a mere shadow, indeed, they frantically rush around and gathering, rush around in vain, gathering possessions without knowing who will get them. Um, if I'm not mistaken, around was a transition word as well. Yes, it's under space, location, and place. Here is around right there. So, around. So now we're going to go into pink, which is for anything having to do with Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit. Um, so, Lord, reveal to me the end of my life and the number of my days. Let me know how short-lived I am. You, I'm also going to do have made because that's something that God does. Um, you have made my days short in length and my lifespan as nothing in your sight. Yes, every mortal man is only a vapor. Certainly man walks about like a mere shadow. Indeed, they frantically rush around in vain, gathering possessions without knowing who will get them. So now I go into the other colors, such as yellow, blue, um, orange, purple. So I do like... Um, in verse 4, where it says, Reveal to me the end of my life. Hmm. <sighs> Actually, no, I don't want to highlight that in purple. I don't want that a prayer, as a prayer. I'm basically going to do everything in orange <laughs> now. So, uh, reveal to me the end of my life and the number of my days. Let me know how short-lived I am. My days short in length, my lifespan, nothing in your sight. Yes, every metal, mortal man is only vapor. Salah. Man walks about like a mere shadow. They frantically rush around in vain, gathering possessions without knowing who will get them. That's 
basically how I highlight. After doing that, you guys can see how long. Um, I take this pen here. This is just a random pen that came, I think, with my Bible bag. Um, and I go in and underline. Actually, hold on. I'm going to highlight. Now, to highlight in here, I use these Promox Glow Line um, highlighters. It normally comes with four in a the pack. There's an orange missing, but I ran out of my orange. So, um, these are the three. The purple, pink, and the yellow. And, um, yep. I get these from Dollar Tree, but you can get them at any discount store, honestly. I do like the scripture, so um, I'm going to highlight Psalms 39, 4 through 6. I don't care for this uh, verse that they have. So I'm just highlighting that. Going in with the pen, I'm going to read what it says. Scientists are pretty fussy about time. At the end of 2016, the folks at Godard Space Flight Center in Maryland added an extra second to the year. And I'm just sipping on my coffee right now. And um, I don't condone eating sweets in the morning, but I am going to have a piece of this Hostess cupcake. I cut half for my son this morning, so I'm just going to nibble on this until I'm done. And then I'm going to go make me proper breakfast, of course. But I'm going to go back in with the yellow highlighter because there are some scriptures that they had in here. So they have 1 Corinthians 7, 29. And they also have Ephesians 5, 16. Um, I'm going to take the pink highlighter and basically highlight everything I underlined because I really believe everything that I underlined was important. So... I'm going to read the bottom. It says, don't just spend time invested. I like that. So I'm definitely going to highlight that. Um, I'm going to read the prayer that they have and see if there's anything about the prayer that I like. And if I do like the prayer, I will um, highlight it in purple. So, Lord, thank you for each moment you give us. May we strive to honor you with this gift by using our time wisely for your honor and glory. Um, I do like it. I like the last portion. So... I'm going to highlight that. But I'm quickly also going to flip to the scriptures that were shown. So 1 Corinthians 7, 29. I'm going to flip through. Flip to. So. It is really raining hard out there. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. But um, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. So I'm going to zoom out real quick for you. Okay. So 29 is here. It says, I say this, brother. The time is limited. So from now on, those who have wives should be as though they had none. So I'm going to go through and, of course, highlight like I normally would. And so from looking through it, this is why it takes me um, a little longer to do my devotionals because I really dive in and break all the scriptures down. So um, I'm looking for now. I do believe now is a transition word. At least I believe so. It is okay so now now I want to see it should be in as though should our um, transition so I'm just looking through this
Okay, nope. They're not, so I'll leave it as that. And, um... I'm gonna highlight Time is Limited in blue. Because I like that that is important. I think it's noteworthy to understand. And everything else will be in orange. And I messed up because as should also be highlighted in green. So, as. Okay, and I'm flipping to Ephesians, what was it, 516. Making the most of the time because the days are evil. I'm going to highlight that in yellow because I feel like that's a command or something to apply to my life. Okay. So that's it for the first devotional. That's how I go about it. So I'm not going to take my notes now. I like to read everything through first and then take my notes after because I've already highlighted. So moving on to the next book, which is In Touch Ministries. And like I said, the last time I did a devotional was Tuesday in here. So today is the 16th. I'm going to skip ahead. Here we are. And these paper clips I made myself. Um, so this one is Voiding gr Voiding God's grace, so Galatians 3, 1 through 5. Just making sure there's no other scriptures, because normally they do pop up with other scriptures. If you guys can, not, sorry, that's not a good example. Like here, they'll give you the main scripture, but also pop in other scriptures to help. So I'm just looking through, but there's no other scriptures for this. So Galatians 3, 1 through 5. 3 and 1 through 5. I think this is it. Yep, right here. And um, I'll zoom back in. Okay, hopefully that works. But um, I'm going to read it through. You foolish Galatians who has hypnotized you. Oh, and pay my thumb no mind. Um, my nail broke off. I'm just going to get these nails off. These are acrylics on top of my actual nails. And... I don't know why I just got acrylics for like a few months and I'm over it now so these will be coming off I'm gonna take them off myself and just regrow my nails out um, but moving on you foolish Galatians who has hypnotized you before whose eyes Jesus Christ was vividly portrayed as crucified I only want to learn this from you did you receive the spirit by the works of the law or by hearing with faith are you so foolish after beginning with the spirit are you now going to be made complete by the flesh did you suffer so much for nothing if in fact it was for nothing so then does God supply you with the spirit and work miracles among you by the works of the law or by hearing with faith wow so I'm going to start off with the pink first because I see a lot of the trinity um the holy trinity being mentioned so Jesus Christ the spirit the spirits God supply because I like that the spirits so I think that's it that all I wanted to um, highlight in pink now going in of course with the green for transition words so Okay, I think in fact is one, but I want to make sure. Yes, it is right here. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, it's under example support and emphasis. And um, I'm recording on my cell phone, my actual cell phone, so it's not the normal phone that I use. Um, but I'm also watching the live recording on my TV so that I can make sure everything is in view. So if in fact I'm gonna underline that it was for nothing, so then 
and uh, okay i always get stuck with among i'm never sure i should probably find it and highlight it if i find it because i'm always stuck on that yeah among because i'm always stuck among you by the works of the law or okay i think that's all of the transition words pray for me hopefully it is um and then we're gonna go in with orange so, well let me see if there's anything that i want to highlight in yellow or blue first so you foolish galation to the hips hypnotize you i like this question so did you receive the spirit by the works of the law or by hearing with faith that's a good question after beginning with the spirit are you now going to be made complete by the flesh wow yes 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 i like that are you now going to be made complete by the flesh did you suffer so much for nothing in fact it if in fact it was for nothing so then does god supply you with the spirit and work miracles among you by the works of that's that's good so nothing here that i want to highlight yellow but I did have blue. And lastly, we're going to go in with the orange for everything else. So, I'll leave links if you guys are interested in any of these devotionals that I have or the highlighters and writing utensils. I did like today's scripture. I really did. Really, really did. I haven't studied Galatians yet, so. This, this was a good devotion today. Oh. Okay. And lastly is the um, God is Faithful devotional. And um, I'm on week 13 Tuesday. Um, when it comes to these devotionals, I don't go about them on a um, daily kind of schedule. I just pick them up wherever I'm left off at. Um, so it is John 12, 36. And I just love the book of John. The book of John is phenomenal. Mm, okay. Here. So while you have the light, believe in the light so that you may become sons of light. Jesus said this, then went away and hid from them. So. I'm only going to undo Jesus in pink. Oops. Okay. back to the paper and this is real life you guys how my devotionals go <laughs> um i'm looking for the word while i feel like it is yes it is you guys can see it's a uh, cause condition purpose so I'm using yellow because this is more like a command that Jesus is giving or something I should apply to my life. So while you have the light, 
believe in the light. So that you may become sons of light. And then orange. Okay, so I'm done with these Sharpie Smear God highlighters. Zoom your eyes out of it. Okay, so I'm done with this paper. Can I stick it back up here? I'm done with my scripture readings for the day in this Bible. So I'll just put this Bible to the side for now. So I am going to highlight um, this. I'm done with that highlighter. And I'm going to read. So I'm going to underline Jesus. Believe in the light. And it's him. And I had to sneeze. <laughs> Believe in the light and the qualities, characteristics, and natures. nature of the light will become evident in your life. Um, mm, I'm boxing that. Yeah, a, a lot of people um, take the whole religion thing too far, um, which is why when people ask me, um, am I religious? I'm not religious. I'm a Christian. I'm a follower of Christ. Um, I believe in God, and that's my faith. Um, because I don't like to dive into the whole theology and um, doctrine and arguing with people about it. I just think it's too much. People do too much um, trying to prove the, the, the events of the Bible and I feel like the Bible speaks for itself scripture will as my pastor said this Sunday scripture establishes scripture scripture will speak for itself um, but people do this a lot oh my god that 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 is important and if I had an orange highlighter you know what I do I'm gonna highlight this, this in orange because this has nothing to do with what I want to um, highlight but I just I think that's important a lot of people will splice theology and argue about doctrines they do um, okay. I like that. So I, I, I'm going to box that in pink because that kind of goes with this. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. I'm sorry, you guys. This, these, these devotionals are really good. Wow. Um, so basically it's saying that um, for the people who like to splice theology and argue doctrine, they lose sight of the simple need to become more like Jesus. So they're basically discussing the, the, the Christian beliefs and arguing about it, debating about it, writing about it, but they're failing and neglecting the Christian behavior. That is amazing. Hopefully you guys do not hear that siren. The cops have been on a hunt for somebody in my neighborhood. Um, and every time they find the person, the person gets away. So, you know. I don't know, people crazy. But um I my god. I just I, wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Being Christian is about doing something. Huh, okay. We can do nothing to earn salvation. The doing that I'm talking about is living as sons of light. We're already almost into 40 minutes, but um, you guys are seeing a real live me doing my devotional. I don't even think I'm going to speed this up. Um, I'm just going to show you guys how I do it. Mm, 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Going in with my pink and purple. This this was a good one, you guys. I, I like this, so I'm just gonna go over this, box it in the pink. Okay. Underline that. Let's read the script, the uh, prayer at the bottom. So, mm -hmm. I like that. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I um, take my notes and write these prayers out into my prayer journal. So. I can't believe I'm almost done with this, you guys. That's just another paper clip I made myself. <laughs> this I got from um, Walmart, this journal. I bought a bunch of these, so I have so many of these journals. Um, I'm using the, what is this? The Zebra, and I know people say Zebra, but I actually learned the correct way is Zebra, the way the Europeans and the Africans say it. So I'm gonna say Zebra. Uh, Zebra G301.7 millimeter pen. The G is basically, um, I'm sorry, the GP basically means gel pen. Um, they do have a gel pen and then they have the ballpoint pen. I like the gel pen, just the paper in this, um, this notebook I don't like. So my gel pens tend to look inky, which I don't like, but, um, I'm almost done with this notebook. So, you know, today is, like I said, 416... 18 so i'm gonna put our daily bread in the star i use my um paper mate ink joy gel pen this is in the teal color i think um and again i don't like gel pens on this paper because it tends to look inky um, well, this one doesn't look inky. It's a really good gel pen, but the Paper Mate Ink Joys definitely do. So, next to the name, I basically write down the title of the devotional, which is just a second. Let me turn my diffuser off for a few. No, nope, you don't want to go off? Thank you. And then I use um, this Paper Mate Ink Joy 300RT. Uh, one millimeter pen it's just a retractable retractable ballpoint pen because i used to use um this paper mate ink joy pen but i'm really really low on ink on this like i'm getting super low on the ink in this compared to the teal so i use this in my other devotional notebook so we're just gonna jump right off oh, with my pen my highlighter bag um okay just gonna write my notes from what I underlined and highlighted so um, I'm gonna say my time hope you guys can see this and how I use it is important and I'm literally just writing the notes out of it, but um, instead of saying our and we, I always put it into a personal kind of thing because I do want these devotionals to be more personal. Um, so the time I have to do God's work is limited. must use it wisely I need 
need to consider it just started raining harder again oh my gosh spring uh, how i love you <laughs> fleeting nature of life but what can we say april is always april showers bring may flowers so um invest my time and i do want to underline that so i'm done with that so i'm just going to go back and start everything So that's it and I'm going to set this to the side because I do want to write that prayer out. So setting that to the side, I'm going to do the same kind of with in touch. These devotionals are really good. Sorry, I always mess up sometimes. And I do keep all of my devotional books, um, these books. I know some people would throw them out, but I do keep them. Um, I have a bunch of these notebooks, like a bunch of these, I'm sorry, devotionals from Our Daily Bread, because they're just phenomenal. But, um, I'm going to write the shift. From confidence in God. I'm just rearranging how it's written. So confidence in Jesus. To self. Is so subtle. Sorry guys. And what I'm going to do is. Um, put my phone. On mute. So that it doesn't go off. I always forget to do that, even when I'm doing live videos. <laughs> so, okay. So the shift from confidence in Jesus to self is so subtle that it goes that it easily goes unnoticed. salvation so these are just key things that i wanted to remember um because like i said i do keep these but sometimes i don't want to flip through these i can just flip through the notebook and look at key important things that i learned so um last point I can actually put this away and focus on the last one and I'm just gonna put God is faithful and I apologize if you guys can hear my um, brother he did just wake up and he's heck loud so 
you know, if you have siblings, you know how that goes. <laughs> so becoming more like Jesus. And it is currently 1046. So. Jesus invites me to believe in the light. I'm going to um, capitalize lights. I'm going to make an arrow. Light equals Jesus. Um, believing in the light should equal qualities. Characteristics. and nature of him evident in my life and i'm just paraphrasing and changing around how it's written to make it more suitable for my personal understanding um so in my life um when splicing theology and arguing doctrine can lose sight of the simple need to be like him and then I'm gonna write a note neglect Christian behavior um, Christianity is about doing which is living as sons of light um, I think that's what I wanted to write. I think there's one more note I want to write. Which is that um, salvation comes through God by faith in Christ alone. So. Through God's grace. By my faith in Christ alone do I receive salvation. Okay, so have that written down. Putting this to the side now. So this is basically how my notes look. Um, trying to get it so you guys can see. Okay, how my notes look after I read through everything, highlight, underline, and stuff like that. So that's that. Oh, so I'm going to mark. Ooh, sorry, how many pages are left? Wow, there's only four pages left, you guys. I'll be done with this soon. Oh my gosh, I should probably go pick out a new journal. <laughs> but. So I'm done with that. Moving this to the side, I am going to now pull out my prayer journal. And here's my prayer journal. Um, I did add, you guys have seen the video, you can click the on the screen. Um, but I did add these little crosses. I don't know how I feel about it. I like it, but I don't like it, so who knows. But um, here's what the inside of my prayer journal looks like. And I'm going to quickly flip to it first because I don't know where I left off. Okay. All 
card. So I'm um, going on to this page. The last time I wrote on my page journal, you guys, was on the 11th of April. It is the 16th now, so it's about five days since I've wrote, written in it. Um, so I try to write in it daily, but sometimes I don't. So sometimes I write Heavenly Father. Sometimes I just say Abba. Um, sometimes I say Good Morning Jesus or Good Morning God. So for today, I'm going to actually write Good Morning Father. basically wrote i thank you for your protection and hand over me thank you for the love you freely give to me thank you for being alpha and omega i am grateful that i can cry out abba when i need to um and then after i write that down um i'll dive into um what they wrote here so but i always replace the i and the we and the us for me so i mean the we and the us for me so Thank you for each moment. You give to me. May I strive to honor you. So this whole portion here, right here, these four lines, thank you for each moment you give to me. May I strive to honor you with this gift by using my time wisely for your honor and glory. Um, I got it from this right here. So I'm done with that. And then with the next one, I'll just go in again. So I might come to know you. Um, I'm going to write, Father, I pray. That you send me, that you send me. Use me to bring others into your eternal family, into your eternal family as your daughter. Of lights and that portion of course I added the extra part to it but um that's that prayer and that's pretty much it you guys how I go about my devotionals in the morning I try to do these at five o'clock in the morning um because my son is sleeping and it lives gives me enough time for myself but um pretty much that's it and I Hope to see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you guys enjoy this video. Because if you do, I can definitely do more videos like this. But um, this was the first, dev the first devotional with me video. I will have my study with me's coming back soon. Um, I'm probably going to do one on Psalms pretty soon. And then another one on Proverbs. And I know you guys want that 
to be a more um, kind of in-depth kind of study with me instead of how I had it before. So those will be probably recording in the recorded in the morning. But um, other than that, that's it. And I hope you guys um, stay tuned for more. Bye.